Hi all, this is Eerie Knight of the Suda Posse here to present 14 advanced techniques to elevate your bases to the next level. If you want to build structures with complex non-rectangular geometries, you've come to the right place. So let's get started. I refer to a grid structure as a normal pattern built by default. As soon as you connect a log to a vertical log, you will form the basis of its perpendicular square pattern. Normally you are stuck to this pattern, building parallel or perpendicular to this grid. I'm going to show you all how to build off grid, which is technically not connected to the main grid, but if done properly, will seamlessly blend into it. You can intertwine however many off-grid structures you want in your main grid. As you'll see, this can be very tedious and time-consuming, but looks wicked cool. As such, in this video, I'll demonstrate this concept with six independent off-grid structures all blended together to create one hopefully awesome fortress. For our first advanced building technique, I'm going to show you how to start an independent off-grid structure. First, place a vertical support once it turns white between the two middle vertical supports. Angle a log so it lands underneath the perimeter frames. This will form the first independent off-grid structure from the main perpendicular frame. Place an adjacent vertical log for the second independent off-grid structure and angle another log in a similar manner to the first one. However, this can happen with this trick, though it can be quite useful to make off-angle structures. We don't want to do that here right now. Now that we have angled it, we need to fine-tune it to be as centered and symmetrical as possible as this will dictate the shape of our structures. This isn't quite aligned the way we want it. I'll spend some more time trying to get it more centered. Now that's better. Not perfect, but this will do. Next, we will lift the sloped logs up such that they are positioned within the perimeter frame. We are going to create a zigzag like pattern for each off-grid structure. Technically, they are both not connected to each other, but hopefully with the alignment at the beginning, they won't be crooked when they meet up on the other side. And look at that! There is a narrow gap between the vertical supports on the backside. This is why the initial alignment is absolutely key. The better the alignment, the less gap you'll have. We did a pretty good job here and I'm okay with this narrow gap. So let's continue onward. Now this next one isn't an advanced building technique, but we need to do normal building stuff and fill in the main grid portion of our build. This is what it looks like with the initial main grid and two off-grid structures forming the outline of our off-grid building. The next trick I would recommend is to initially double up the outline of your off-grid structure, especially if it is complex. This is temporarily done to make it visually distinctive from the main grid part. So as I am building, I can remove the double layer, place down a vertical log, and put them back. All this does is help me keep track of where the outline of my off-grid structure is located. In this example, it is fairly easy to tell as all the angles are quite different from the main grid. But if you've got nearly parallel off-grid components, this will be helpful so you don't mess up and confuse the main grid and off-grid parts. At this point, we have the main grid structure framed out and the outline of our off-grid structure. What's nice about these off-grid structures is that the components from the main grid can pass through the components of the off-grid structures. This tip is useful for our full logs and floorboards. In this case, wood planks can absolutely pass through our off-grid perimeter, creating a seamless floor. Now, are you tired of square or rectangular towers? The next series of advanced building techniques is going to show how to build a hexagonal shaped tower. After watching this section, you should be able to use these techniques to create any wild shape you desire. These hexagonal towers will each be comprised of two off-grid structures, bringing our total off-grid structures for this build to six. We will start with the advanced building tip number one to get us started with an off-grid structure. This is done by placing a vertical log as soon as it turns white and a sloped log that is positioned underneath the perimeter frame. To create a continuous angled shape structure, aim your log until you see the white dashed line and move to the side till it disappears and place a vertical log. Then with a second log, aim at the log you just placed and though the arrow says it will be sloped, it will actually connect to the top of the off-grid log. Now this can be quite finicky and for some reason it just doesn't work all the time. Distance is definitely a factor, though sometimes it still doesn't work. This can require several attempts of placing the vertical log till it connects. So this is an exercise in patience. Fortunately for you guys, Taco Bear will cut most of that out in editing, though depending on how much she hates you all, she may or may not include extra footage of this exercise in futility so that you may suffer as I did. If she is particularly mean, she may do a short montage, though it may not be because she hates you, rather she wants me to relive my nightmare.
To continue our hexagonal shape, we need to place two or more vertical logs in the same manner and connect the top horizontal log as before. Place an adjacent vertical log and connect the top log. Within the tower, we will place a square section connected directly off the main grid. You'll notice our other hexagonal tower has gaps filled in to the bottom. To do this, we'll need to make use of another advanced building technique. Now that we've got the outline of our hexagonal tower created, we're going to lower it by cutting all the vertical supports, leaving only a quarter log at the the bottom. Once completed, we can proceed to fill in all the gaps all the way around. I've done a bit more work to highlight the next advanced building technique and got the off-grid perimeter walls filled in. You'll notice as I walk around that aiming at the walls gives me a red arrow, meaning I cannot place any logs to start building upwards. This is a problem. If I aim at the ground, you'll see the white dash shapes indicating I can place logs here as these are directly supported by the main grid logs underneath. Do you see where I'm going with this? Well, to build an off-grid structure on top of our main grid, we are going to need to support it underneath the main grid with logs built off these initial off-grid frames I originally placed earlier in the video. Since I need to install the grid-like formation as I did with the main grid for each of these off-grid structures, the two off-grid and main grid struts are going to be intersecting and crisscrossing through each other, which is going to be a confusing mess of logs that will potentially get in each other's way. To minimize that, it is important to get rid of as many main grid support logs as possible. So this next tip is tedious but important. Remove all the main grid vertical logs as you can. It will make your life a lot easier when trying to build this way. With the logs removed, time to install our off-grid logs down below. You'll notice for some logs, the, the game will allow you to place the logs in the directions you need, which will be a pain later on. Recall that when building off-angle logs in advanced building tip 4, that the top horizontal log will snap into an angled position. This can happen down here as well, which will become important later. It is becoming a bit crowded down here, and we still have more supports to put. But let's go back up top to see what logs we can connect to the off-grid structure's top side. As you can all see, we can now build on top in the positions we have supported underneath. And where we are still missing supports, we cannot build anything. For some of these spots, we'll need to get creative as the game will allow us to build all the support logs we require. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Sometimes you'll notice that you cannot lean a log against a support. Not to worry, aim down and if you properly supported underneath, you'll see where you can place a vertical log. Then you can connect everything from there. However, logs that are even slightly out of position won't allow you to snap the logs together. The next advanced building tip is important. We have two independent off-grid structures that we need to seamlessly blend together. So how do we take care of the roof? These are our two separate off-grid structures. Basically, you want to build the off-grid supports within each other such that you can place down planks covering both. I'll show you what I mean with another section of the roof. This is a gap where the two roofing structures need to meet and since they are on different grids, they won't connect. Ignore that red amongst the purple. I'll get to that in a moment. Everything comes back to the bottom off-grid supports. Make as many as you can. Case in point, we need to expand the off-grid structures such that they fit inside each other. As we come back up top, we notice on the left side here, we can now place planks, but on the right side, we still need more supports. The finished product should look something like this, with all the double vertical horizontal logs next to each other. To reiterate, this all emanates from our alignment of our off-grid structures at the very beginning. Otherwise, it won't look good. Now, the planks are placeable on our roof. So recall when I said a moment ago, ignore the red amongst the purple. Rescind that order. It is impossible to place all the off-grid logs underneath as it gets crowded, which leaves gaps in the coverage. A workaround and the next advanced building tip is to leverage the off-grid components from the other grid. So in this example, I could not get any of the purple grid logs in that region. However, I was able to extend the red grid down that way. However, this creates obvious issues. I have nothing to connect the red grid to amongst the purple. So, how the hell am I going to place planks here? Remember when I mentioned earlier placing the horizontal logs underneath the main grid can be helpful? While I couldn't get the additional log supports to support this red off-grid structure, I could get a horizontal log in position, allowing me to stack horizontal logs up above to support the log needed to support the planks. Because of the way our two off-grids are aligned, enables us to do some cool things. For example, let's fill in our apex structure here between a leaning and vertical log. Notice the gap there we want to cover. Normally, this is not possible to fill the gap, but with our grid configuration, we certainly can. We can leverage the other grid to lay down a bunch of horizontal logs, providing a solid wall where would otherwise be a gap. Mashing these off-grids together allows you to make floor paneling that crisscrosses over each other to make a more unique floor pattern. This also allows for 
interesting door placement as normally our door is nicely centered within a log wall section. Here our door is right on the edge which gives us a more unique flavor. In creating this back overhang I ran into the issue of not being able to place the required supporting logs so to get around that I decided to place a rope bridge. It still gives me the overall look I wanted despite not having the supports. Basically whenever you've got a gap in coverage you'll need to find a workaround. Previously that was using the other off-grid structure to fill the gap. Here I used a rope bridge. In my previous building tips video link in the description below I showed you all how to build crenellations. The cool extension of this is to sharpen them to give them a cool gothic pointed look. After a bit more work and polish, this is the finished product. It takes a lot more time to build using off-grid angles than building a single grid structure of a similar size. However, if you can suffer through a bit of aggravation and tedious placement of those damn off-grid support logs, the results are pretty damn spectacular. I hope the devs add an easier way to build off-angled structures at some point in the alpha, but till then, this is the way. Thanks for watching everyone, please like and subscribe if you found this video useful, and we'll see you in the next one.